So let's discuss fin scanning. Fin scanning works by sending a packet from our machine to a victim machine, and the victim machine has either an open port or closed port. If there's a closed port, it should send a reset packet to our machine. So a closed port will respond with a reset packet. An open port, however, will just drop the packet and absolutely do nothing. So that way, there will never be a TCP type connection or any IDS detection, intrusion detection, etc., will not be picked up, will not be logged, etc. So let's do a nmap with a fin scan. So minus S, and I use the F tag, a capital F. So this way we can scan our machine, victim machine right now. Notice I'm not using any proxy chains because this is a machine that's within a closed network. If you're ever running a scan outside on a overseas computer or any other machine, you want to make sure you use proxy chains. And please understand this activity is illegal in most countries, so you want to be protecting yourself at all situations. So let's do the scan on this particular machine. And the fin scan is actually a stealthy option. So if you want to keep under the radar, a fin scan is probably the way to do it, although it's not 100% reliable. So let's do a scan on this machine and let's see what it finds. So it started and let's just wait and see the results. As I said, it's not 100% accurate a lot of the time. It depends on the machine that we're scanning. As you'll see here, all 1000 ports are scanned and it's showing as closed. Now this is not accurate and that also depends on the machine you're running this on or the machine that you are scanning. So there's lots of variations here. So let's try another scan, this time the Christmas scan. Now the Christmas scan works on the basis that it has all three flags up, lit up like a Christmas tree. So that's the whole reason why it's called the Xmas scan. So let's change this to an X. And this means that the fin urgent and the push flags are all up. So if they're all set up and lit up like a Christmas tree, that's why it's called Christmas scan. So let's try this scan now and see what it results and gives us the results. Uh, it started again. Let's just see what it finds. Again, it's saying that all ports are closed. Now I'm leaving this video in because a lot of the time you will find these types of results. So I want to show you some results. So what I'd like to do is scan another machine. And given that I don't have another PC here right now, I'm going to scan my Kali Linux machine. So let's do the scan on our Kali Linux. So let's open another terminal window and let's do a nmap scan with the fin scan and we will do sf and i will put it as 127.0.0.1 now let's see what happens notice now it has got some results it shows that this port is open and tor is running on this particular port so that's good now let's go and do a christmas scan with an X and let's see what that shows. Again, it's showing that same port with Tor running on this particular machine. So as you can see, the Christmas scan and the fin scan do work. It is a lot of trial and error and I've left this in so you can see what type of results you may get. Don't get frustrated. Eventually you'll find a machine that this type of scan will work on. And the beauty about this is it stays under the radar. It keeps you hidden in a sense because no intrusion detection scanning system will pick this up.